This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. We already have a bunch of code here. We've been making a game. Let's check it out. Oh no! So if you don't have this, right, if yours doesn't look like this, you need to go back and do the previous levels. If you're stuck on one, check out my tutorials. Let's see what we got for this level. User controls. Next, you should add user controls so that you can move your player around. Your player needs to move to the left when the left arrow is pressed, to the right when the right arrow key is pressed, and jump when the spacebar is pressed. Do this. Create a new control player function in the functions area of your code. All right, let's do that. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to go to functions to create, well, a function, and grab a function. Zoop, boom. Just so we can see it better, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to... Whoa, what just happened? I don't know. Um, just so you can see it better, I'm putting a space in here. There we are. Okay, and then we are going to name this control player. All right. Now, inside the control player function, use an if key down and sprite. Okay, so let's go to control if zoop, if key down and sprite x blocks to make your player move if to the left and right according to arrow keys. Got it. So if key down, is that sprite or no, maybe that's world? Yep, key down. So inside of our if, we're asking the computer if key down and what key? Well, it says we want to check if left or right. So if left down, okay, so if left down, we want our player to Sprite X is what we're going to control. So I'm going to go to Sprite because X is left and right. Okay. And then our name of our player is player. At least that's what I named my variable. It's going to be equal to player X is going to equal. Ooh. So if they hit down key, we need to set it equal to player X. But we only want it to move a little bit. So we want player X to be equal to sprite X, right? So wherever they were before, we want it equal to that minus a little bit. So maybe minus 1, minus 2. And if they're holding left, because 0 is over here for X, we'll move over. If I just put negative 1 the second someone hits left, suddenly my player would be way over here at negative 1. This way... Each time the draw loop runs, it's going to run this function and check if someone hit down on that key. If so, the player will move. All right? And now we want to check if the other key is pressed. Do we use an if else here? No. Because... All right. So now let's grab control if and key down right variable equals same idea we want to grab the player's y property and we want to now to go to the right x increases so we need to add to it and then we need to go to sprites okay so i need to change this to the name of my variable which was the player my alien i named player one and one now there's a yellow box here because we never control call it but let's make sure okay inside the control player function use the if key down velocity blocks to make your player jump if the up arrow key is pressed oh yeah we need one more if so control if and we need the world key down if up is pressed we want our sprite to oh wait a minute we want this, right? We're going to change our, uh, our the property of our player's Y value. And to go up, remember, going up, Y0 is up here, 400 down there. So to go up, we need to ask Y to decrease some. So we need a math negative and player's Y. So sprite Y, we want to equal the sprite Y but we want to take a few each time. So I'm going to just try one at first. This might not be enough, but there's always testing. Okay. Cool. 
call the control. So now we need to call it because remember a function will not run unless you call it. It's created, but none of that code ever runs unless you ask it to. The only code that runs is the stuff outside of the function that creates our variable and stuff in the draw loop that runs automatically, but everything else you have to ask to be called. So, and that you have to call and to call it, we're just going to drop this and write the name and the name of our function was control player. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to, oh, I dropped too fast. Okay, so I don't think my jump is good enough. <laughs> or maybe my velocity is too strong. Let's see. Um, if up is pressed 15. Oh, that helped a little bit. Yikes. 100. Ah! <laughs> that was too much. So this is going to be some trial and error. And I might change my player's velocity. Uh, I want to try 25. And then I'm going to go check out, yeah, this velocity of my player falling. I'm going to do 0 0.5. It seems fast. So that's getting a bit better. Inside the control function, if key down, velocity, oh wait. Oh, so for jumping, for jumping, I actually don't want to do this. I want to change the velocity, not player Y. Okay, that should help. So. Oh, and I noticed another error right here. I don't want player Y. I want X for left and right. Debugging. Okay. Now, this is what I'm changing. And I want my velocity to be negative still, I think. Let's try it out. Oh, whoa, I'm gone. What happened? Oh, God. Ah! Okay, let's try one. Oh, and I can hold it? Oh, is that what we want, though? Okay, and I can't land on platforms yet. Let me just double check. Use an if key down velocity Y block to make your player jump when the up arrow key is pressed. Call, yep, create. Okay, so I'm going to have these actually be two. Two. Let's try this if that helps them. Whoop, already off the screen. So what I'm doing is holding up right now and that's working. Ugh, I wish I could land on the platforms. All right, so that's a start. I might need to mess with velocity. Make sure you call yours, right? So the only reason it's working at all is I called it here, but this is all the code I added for the player's control elements. And I use these conditionals. Each time the draw loop runs 30 times a second, it checks if down. And the computer returns true or false. So the computer says, is this key down? True. And then runs the code in here. And this just adds or subtracts one from the player x variable, moving the player to the left or right. Okay? And this changes the velocity by one. Once it hits the bottom of this, it goes, once it hits the bottom of this function, it just keeps running all the code in the draw loop. So, great. Let's uh, keep going.